Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hayley. If you're new here, welcome. There I go again, saying the exact same thing. Today I am back with another three minute book review for you. Um, I've sat myself somewhere a little bit different today. It is pouring with rain outside. We've had such nice weather and today it's just decided to be very grey and very wet. I've got myself a nice cup of tea and I am going to give you my review of I Heart Hawaii by Lindsay Kelk. I had such high expectations for this book. I absolutely love the I Heart series. Lindsay Kelk is one of my favourite authors and also Hawaii has always been on my to visit list. Really, really high expectations for this and I'm so pleased to say that it didn't disappoint. This is actually the last in the I Heart series. So after, I think it's 10 years and eight books, this is the last one in the series. It sums it up so nicely. Unlike the last book I read, which was Page Tunes, If You Could Go Anywhere, and I will link my review up here for you, um, I warmed to the main character immediately. She leads a very glam lifestyle. So she lives in New York. She's married to her rock star husband, Alex. So it's Alex Reed. And that's a bit I have a little bit of a problem with because it's spelt in the exact same way as Alex Reed, the cage fighter, previous Hollyoaks um, actor, and also married to Katie Price. So when I'm reading this, I think of Alex as Alex Reed, which, which kind of loses the appeal a little bit. Although Angela leads what looks like quite a glamorous lifestyle, I and mean, she gets herself into quite a lot of scrapes. So in this particular book, she gets invited by Jenny to go on a press trip for Precy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, it's a makeup brand. Um, and if you've seen any YouTubers going on press trips for makeup brands, this takes that one step further. Lindsay Kelk really offers a good balance in the book of aspirational lifestyle with some real relatable realism. Relatable realism. Does that make sense? Anyway, so there's one particular paragraph that I need to read out to you because it brought back such memories. Angela was talking about going back to school after a holiday when she was young. So... First day back after a fortnight in Menorca, armed with a friendship bracelet for Louisa and long plastic strips of weird boiled sweets for the rest of the class. I can still picture those strips of boiled sweets now. I absolutely loved this book. I would say, however, the chapters are quite long. So if you've seen any of my reviews before, you'll know that I like to end my reading on a chapter. Also, it took a little while for them to actually get to Hawaii. There was quite a lot of scene setting. I would like to say that the ending is so nicely done. It's neatly tied up, it's very clever, and actually I couldn't think of a better way to end the series. Overall, I loved this book uh, and I will be giving it 8 out of 10. Next up I am going to be reading something very different. So obviously the last two books I've read have been very chick lit. Next one I wouldn't necessarily say is that by any means and also it's very different for me and not something I would normally pick up but I have heard so many people absolutely love this book. So I am going to be reading Michelle Obama's Becoming. Now, this is a beast of a book. Um, it's hardback, which I wouldn't necessarily pick up because I like to take it on the train to work and lugging this around is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, but I wasn't willing to wait until the paperback came out, so I don't think that's until next year. Um, it's also quite lengthy so you're gonna to have to give me a little bit of time to read this one i'm really hoping it's not entirely politics based because that is definitely not one of my favorite subjects um i have started it so i'm about 15 pages in so far so good thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it the thumbs up below and if you would like to subscribe i would absolutely love to have you Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.